Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm super excited for this video because we're going to be testing out the new Letho Cosmetics Dream Sign collection. They had a bunch of different lip glosses, highlighters, and an eyeshadow palette that is interchangeable. So I went ahead and just picked up a few things from the collection to give it a test. And the eyeshadow palette looks like this, so it's just really beautiful cardboard packaging and it has all of the pieces on the back so you can easily pop the shadows out. And here is the color scheme. So it's a really beautiful, just fun, grungy palette. There's some neutrals and like some yellowy tones, some green tones and some blue tones. So I was just super excited about it. I thought it was a really pretty palette and I'm going to a Christmas party today. So I think I might kind of play up the yellow and the green a little bit just cause it's gonna match the earrings I plan on wearing. And the inside also says today is a good day to make memories, which is so cute. So like I said, this is interchangeable, which makes it really cool because you can do any build your own palette on their website and you can buy any of these shades individually. They have a ton of single shadows. I have two other full palettes in their previous build your own palette um, magnetic palettes. So I'll just show you other colors that I have. These are a lot more bright. So I'm excited to add a little bit more grunginess in there. You can see I'm super drawn to their purples and blues and greens. You can purchase this all together and it's called the Dream Sign Palette. I'm going to go ahead and leave a little graphic that I did on screen. I just went ahead and added the names of each shade onto the palette to make it easier for me as I'm filming this video because that way I don't have to like pop them out to know what all the names are. So I thought it would be helpful for y'all if you want a screenshot or anything. Just in case you only want to buy some of the shades I talk about because you could just get like half of these and like fill it up with the other colors that you like more, which I really like the level of customization. I think it's super fun. The palette retails for $37. I don't remember exactly what I paid for, but I feel like I got this whole collection a little bit lower because I purchased it on Black Friday. And then I grabbed two different highlighters and these retail for $18.50 each. There are six different highlighter options for different skin tones, which is really nice. I obviously went ahead and grabbed the lighter shades. And here's the packaging. It's super cute and sleek, but also holographic. It says Wavelength, which is the name of the highlighter line. And then when you open it up, there is a little mirror and it says those who shine the brightest cast the longest shadow. So there is the shade Scatter, which is described as a icy lavender with blue highlights. And then the shade I was super excited about is the shade Ionic, which is described as a delicate ivory with rose quartz highlights. I love a good pink highlighter. So when I saw this one on their Instagram, I thought it was so beautiful. It looks a little less pink in person, but I'm definitely going to obviously try it. It looks a little less pink in person, but it still looks really pretty and I'm excited to test it out and I only ended up grabbing two highlighters instead of one just because it was free international shipping if you paid $80, so... Suey. <laughs> and then last but not least, I grabbed one lip gloss. They do have nine different shades here, but I ended up grabbing Noba, which is a tinted warm caramel with a high shine finish. It retails for $14 and I just thought it was really beautiful. It looks kind of like a peachy tone. I actually thought that I was getting a different shade. Um, I thought that this was the darker of the oranges because there's another one called Peridot, which is a tinted pumpkin orange with a high shine finish, which sounds really, really beautiful. I wish I had grabbed that one as well, but I, I, I don't know what was going on in my mind, but I'm still happy with this. I think it's a really pretty color and I'm excited to test out the formula and see if I like it or not. But let's just go ahead and jump right on into some swatches. All right, so first we have Vertigo, which is a really beautiful very yellow type shade. I absolutely love that kind of tone. I have one that's similar from Cleona that was in a, a palette, um, but it's not available as a single yet, unfortunately. I think it might have been called Soul or Sunshine or something like that, but this is one of my favorite type of yellow shades. Next we have Lucid, which looks to be such a beautiful bluey green. More on the green side though. And then there is the shade Numb, which is a matte kind of grayy blue. All right, next is the shade Loom, which is kind of a rich, warm brown. And then we have the shade Torment, which is an orange matte, kind of a little bit of a burnt orange, not super, super bright, kind of in between. And then the shade Daybreak, which is a really bright yellow. All 
All right, next we have the shade Stargaze, which looks really, really beautiful. It actually reminds me a lot, just looking at it right off the bat, of the shade Katrina from the Muerte palette from Melt Cosmetics. Very similar kind of tone, and then there's Syncope? Don't know what that is. Syncope, which is an olive-y, grungy green. And then last but not least is the shade Insomnia. It's a deep navy blue. I mean, it's kind of a deep blue, but it also has a little bit of a rich, like, brightness to it. Very pretty. I like that row together. Alright, so quickly, let's go ahead and swatch the highlighters. I'm probably only going to use one today. I know technically I could do one on one side and one on the other to test them both out, but I have, I actually have plans for once in my life, so I probably... I'm going to just do one shade today. So we'll start off with the shade Ionic, the one I was super excited about, which honestly kind of looks like a pale white. I really don't see that much pink in there. Hmm. I'm going to have to go back and check their Instagram and make sure I didn't buy the wrong shade because that would be my luck. It looks really pretty. It's just a very, very, very soft pink. And then the shade Scatter. I can see a little bit more of the lavenderness to that, but it's not super intense. Like, I mean, it's 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 a good, it has a nice glow to it, but I mean, it's not an intense lavender where it wouldn't look good on the skin. I'm going to go ahead and swatch a little bit more of that, actually. Let's go ahead and just quickly swatch Nova just to see how sheer or pigmented the formula is. Well... I mean, it's not the most opaque formula I've ever seen, but it's definitely not super sheer either. Kind of in the middle. Looks very glossy. I'm not sure if it's supposed to have a fake, like, sweet scent to it, but it almost smells like throw up to me. I don't know if I'm crazy, but I don't, I don't like the smell. <laughs> Hopefully I can't smell that when I put it on my lips or I'm going to die. Alright, so I already went ahead and primed my eyes with the Anastasia Eye Primer. I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with the yellow shade right here called Daybreak. And I'm just going to take that on a fluffy blending brush. First, just going to tap out my eye primer to make sure there's no creases. And I'm just going to go in with probably only one layer of this the way it is right now. I'm not going to build it up a ton just because I want this look to be not super, super bright. Okay, well, maybe just a little bit more. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to take this green right here called Syncope, and I'm going to pop that into my outer V. And then just slowly blending it inwards. All right, so I've got that blended for the most part. I'm going to go back with my fluffy brush, no additional product, and just go over the edge real quick. And then I'm actually going to go back in with a little bit more of the yellow. I didn't want it to be super bright, but I didn't want to lose it entirely either, so I'm just refreshing it a little bit. I'm also going to go ahead and take that olive green onto my lower lash line, just connecting and slightly buffing it out. I'm not going to go in with a ton of shades today just because I want to keep it pretty green and yellow. So I'm not going to force all of the shadows into one look. And then I'm going to go ahead and on that same pencil brush I'm going to take the yellow Daybreak and I'm going to pop that onto the inner part of the lower lash line and just blending it in the middle. Alright, so for my lid, I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with this shade right here called Lucid. And I think I'm going to spray it mostly just because I really, really don't want fallout because I've got super glowy skin going on today and I don't think it'll wipe away. So I'm just popping that shade onto the outer half of my eye. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. That is gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that brush off on my little shot masse 
brush cleaner and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade my phone locked out on me I'm gonna take the shade vertigo the really bright yellow again I'm just gonna spray it a little bit and I'm gonna pop that onto the inner part of my lid so so pretty I'm just concentrating it and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it into the bluey green and my plan is working because I'm getting almost no fallout at all thank goodness all right so for my inner corner of my eye if I had done any different shades on the lid I would have taken that yellow on the inner corner I think it would have been really pretty but since I used that as part of my lid shade I want to go with something different on the inner corner and I think I'm gonna take hmm hmm I think I'm going to take Lightyear from Terra Moons. I'm obsessed with their inner corner shades. And I'm just going to pop that on. Alright, so I think for highlighter today I'm going to go ahead and use the shade Ionic. Just because I'm so curious. I really, really want to love it. And I'm going to use the Morphe M501 because it's the only clean highlighting brush I can find right now. And by clean, I mean semi-clean. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess it does kind of remind me a little bit of Oprah Pillow Talk on the cheeks because it's a very, very light, almost just the tiniest, tiniest hint of pink to it type shade. It's definitely more of a glow from within, especially because I'm using it with this brush, which normally makes highlighter super intense. But it's just, I mean, it's its glowy for sure. But it's not quite like the Ofra level. Definitely something I'll have to keep using and see how I end up feeling about it. It's not really emphasizing texture. Man, I want some chips in case though. I just realized I forgot to mention this, but off camera, I went ahead and threw on my mascara and my liner just because my oil heater turned on. I used the NYX Aqua Green liner just because I thought it matched the shade Lucid on the upper lid really, really beautifully and kind of tied the two. And it just kind of tied the top and the bottom together. So now let's go ahead and apply the lip gloss Nova. Oh man, I really do not like the scent. All right, so the gloss feels a little strange. I have some thoughts. It's definitely a little bit more on the sheer side, not super opaque, like I said, kind of in between. It is, as you can see, super, super glossy, which I love that kind of finish, but it feels really liquidy, like super slick, so I don't think it would be very long wearing, and when I'm applying it, it just feels so strange. It's kind of, I don't know, I don't think I like that this applicator is so tiny and just... It's very small, so trying to get like a precise line with your lips and the lip gloss, especially when it's this type of formula where it's so just like moving around, is kind of strange and not my favorite applicator, but overall I do really like the way it looks on the lips. It's very comfortable. It's like the opposite of sticky, super, super slick. So again, it's something I'll keep trying and I'll get back to you guys on. But just from like applying it right away, it feels so much more liquidy than any other gloss that I have. All right, y'all. So this is the finished look with the Lethal Cosmetics Dream Sign Collection. And I do really like how it turned out. I feel like it's such a pretty color scheme. It really inspires me. And I'm thinking maybe I should do like three looks with one palette with this. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Just because there's so much more I want to do here. And I do like the idea of like this mixture of like grunge but still colorful. I dig that. And I really love the eye look. And I'm so kind of just I'm honestly kind of shocked at how beautiful the shade lucid is wet like it is so stunning and I'm trying to remember in my memory if I have ever wet a lethal cosmetic shimmer before because I feel like this shade wet is going to be really stunning as well so I'm super excited to do more looks with this such a pretty color scheme and I had no problem with the formula or anything the highlighter is a really pretty glow from within the more that I let it sit on my skin the more that I like it the gloss Again, not sure if I like the applicator. I don't like the smell, but I can't smell it on my lips. It's just if you sit there and actually smell from the tube, it's just, 
not my favorite if anyone else bought any of these lip glosses please smell it and let me know what it smells like to you because like i said to me it smells like barf i know that's so gross <laughs> but that's what it smells like so i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see y'all in the next one bye